Today, in fact, the hottest day we've had in quite a while. 94 degrees in Lafayette, just two degrees shy of a record, and it looks like more heat and some humidity as we head into the weekend with the addition of some scattered afternoon showers and thunder showers. Now, as we take a look at the traffic cam on Ambassador Caffrey, hey, this doesn't look too bad at 615 or so in the evening. It looks like the timing's off on the camera there. It says 630, but we all know we got 612 and 33 seconds on our uh, camera here in the studio, uh, but traffic moving along nicely. Got the long shadows going on and later on tonight you got a pretty look at that crescent moon. It's going to be nice and orange early and as we showed you, uh, Jupiter is going to be right next to it as well as we showed you earlier in this uh, newscast. Now on the radar satellite composite, we do have a few clouds in the area, some showers and storms as expected in the north central part of the state moving into Texas, but deeper tropical moisture starting to edge into the areas that big fat ridge of high pressure that was dominating that was over by Arkansas at the beginning of the week has shifted now over toward the Carolinas and that's opening up the door for some of this tropical moisture to be lifting northward into the area. So that's going to give us the chance of afternoon showers and thunder showers next couple of days, although not super high rain chances. As for the tropics, it's quiet in the Atlantic Basin. Good looking tropical wave coming off the African coast, but the water here is much cooler thanks to Lorenzo uh, really uh, uh, stirring things things up, so we don't think we're going to see any more development coming off the African coast, but the area that we do have to watch this time of year, Northwest Caribbean, Southern Gulf, uh, we do have a little bit of a threat here, but not a big one. A weak area of low pressure uh, right by the Yucatan Channel will develop with, uh, might develop with time, just a 20% chance of developing, uh, but it looks like this area is going to stay unsettled for the next week to two weeks, as it always does moving into October. We just don't want any October surprises, and we don't see any in the near term so we can breathe easy on the tropics for now and await our next cool front that gets here Monday till then summer conditions and then behind the front not quite as cool as we were forecasting we still may make it into the lower 80s Tuesday behind the front and the euro model only getting us down into the mid 60s for morning but we'll go a little bit lower than that the good news is there's another front on the way that as we go into the following weekend which we would be awfully nice especially for festivals like Cod Yan weekend. We'll take that and run and we could get down into the 50s with that front for sure. In the near term tonight, we're looking at fair to partly cloudy skies, some patchy fog by morning, lower 70s your low by lunchtime, early afternoon into the lower 90s. That heat index once again right near 100 and then scattered showers and thunder showers sparking off late afternoon into the early evening. So that's when we're going to see our best chance of rain moving into Saturday. Much the same, mostly sunny skies giving way to partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. Looks like fewer afternoon showers and thunder showers for your Saturday with rain chance down to about 20%. We'll go 40% though tomorrow, especially late in the day. 20% for Sunday as well. Three more days of 90s and can we get rid of them for good? I don't know. Next Thursday's bucking uh, upper 80s once again, but in between will be cooler and drier and then even cooler we think for the following weekend for right now, but days 7, 8, 9, and 10 on that 10-day mm -hmm. forecast, always subject to change. As even days 4 or 5 right now, not going as cool on that cool front, but nonetheless, it's a cool front coming. And we'll take it for sure. Right, Thanks, exactly. Rob.